Some fucking hash I smell? Doug, you got fucking hash, don't you? I'm here smoking weed and you got hash? There is nothing better than being in jail at Christmas. Guards let you party for 12 days straight. Got no fucking work chores or book readings or Christmas trees or giving gifts or fucking lights. Fuck all that bullshit. Let's get fucked up. Ricky, got somebody here to see you. What are you talking about? <laughs> Pubbles, what are you doing here, buddy? Hey, Ricky. Julie mailed you out. You're out. What? Get your stuff. No, no, I got 12 days of prayer. Come back in 12 days, buddy. Ricky, what are you talking about? Come on, we get you out. Sign out. Oh, my fuck. I don't want to leave now. What the fuck's he doing bailing me out? Fuck. Devo. Devo. Look at my shit. Apparently, I'm fucking out. Christmas is fucking ruined. Uh, an example of how a very ancient, uh, how a very ancient folkway can be incorporated into our culture without us even realizing it uh, and is provided by discussing Amanita muscaria. If you go to the Encyclopedia Britannica and you look up Santa Claus, they'll tell you that it has to do with St. Nicholas and it got started in the 11th century. And it's a, But when you look at the Santa Claus story, it's a perfect uh, uh, mythologium to analyze from this point of view because look what's going on with Santa Claus. First of all, 
Santa Claus's colors are red and white, the colors of the Amanita muscaria, for sure. Santa Claus lives at the North Pole. What does this mean? It means that Santa Claus lives at the Axis Mundi, where Yggdrasil, the magic world ash of Welsh mythology, has uh, taken root. Santa Claus flies. This is what shaman do. Santa Claus is the master of the reindeer, the animal most associated with the Amanita muscaria. Santa Claus is aided in his work by troops of elves. And what is the work of Santa Claus? To build toys for children. Remember the DMT things saying, look at this, look at this. Well, those were off-duty elves, clearly. Um, <laughs> and and so, so here are all the motifs. And I believe that for children in our culture, that all the Christer stuff is not what Christmas is about. Christmas is about standing in front of the tree on Christmas morning with the gifts arrayed and the twinkling lights on. Well, that tree is the tree that the Amanita muscaria forms its symbiotic relationship to. It's always spruce or pine that it has a mycorrhizal relationship to. So the number of motifs relating Santa Claus to a cult of Amanita muscaria, there's almost nothing but relational motif there. And yet, if you suggest this to people, they just back away in horror, you know. <laughs> well, uh, I got into broadcasting because I like to give. Dave, that's my cab! Sometimes I find myself hurting from giving too much. Why are these people? It's Christmas. Bahama. You are going to be visited by three ghosts. Expect the first one tomorrow at noon. God, tomorrow's bad for me, Lou. I'm the ghost. <laughs> I'm the ghost of Christmas present. Oh, I had a funny feeling. I can't get the antlers glued onto this little guy. Have you tried staples? Don't you dare. You're so happy, but so poor. She may be due for a raise. Maybe? Yeah, probably. <laughs> may I? <laughs> Stay. It's never too late. You can always change if you want to. I've never liked a girl enough to give her 12 sharp knives. For a couple of hours out of the whole year, we are the people that we always hoped we would be. Did I forget something, big man? God blesses everyone. Okay. All right, <clears throat> I'm here. I did it. I made it. I hope everyone's doing all right. Um, my voice is kind of rough. I did a lot of uh, yelling into a microphone earlier today. I guess it feels okay. I'm drinking. Uh, I'm drinking tea out of my mug that's also a pipe. Although I don't really use it as a pipe. I have used it as a pipe. but it's mostly for tea because I got a better pipe. Oh, yeah. Looks like a penis, baby. Cheers if you're smoking along at home. Happy holidays and whatnot. Cheers if you're smoking along at home or even if you're ugly. Hope everyone's having a pleasant evening. Um, we'll see how long this goes. Um, I'm not really feeling 100%. Uh, World events are tiring. Um, the prevailing attitudes of most people in our culture are uh, horrifying, which is also tiring. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's, I, eh, you know, 
But we're not here uh, for any sort of serious talk. We're just here to chill out, play some retro games. Uh, it's my birthday this month, so uh, what we're doing is on the Wheel of Nostalgia, we've got uh, some of my favorite games of all time, at least uh, retro-wise. Here's what the wheel looks like. That's the Krampus in the middle. Shouts out to AC May, who made me the Krampus doll long ago. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. Let's spin the wheel and see what we're going to play, I guess. Uh-oh. <laughs> This is a joke. <laughs> um, I've never played this game. I think it's just like uh, like Bubble Bobble or whatever. Where you're, what's that? Is that the game I'm thinking of? Where you shoot the bubbles? It's like a, I don't know. I've never played it, but I, <laughs> I would always see it. <laughs> Hi, Ziltoid. Yeah, Bubble Bath Babes. Welcome. Good to see you. Thank you for being here. Um, since you've arrived, I'm gonna hit this again before we talk about Bubble Bath Babes. So this is an NES game, and uh, I got it, or I didn't get it. I would go to the store and see it, like at uh, Hastings or Blockbuster Video or Hollywood Video. Not Hollywood, that came around later. Anyway, uh, when NES was the new system in the, in the store, at the video store, they had Bubble Bath Babes, and it was like an adult game and like you could see there were like pretty girls on the package but it didn't really show anything so I looked it up this uh, is not banned on Twitch so I think I'm allowed to play it yeah it's an adult game I looked it up a little bit once I think the concept is it's like a puzzle game and then when you clear it it uncovers the naked lady um, I think we're okay. It's like cartoon nakedness. I kind of wish it hadn't come up first. Wish I could kind of bury it in the middle of the stream. <laughs> but how's my audio sound, Ziltoid? Is my voice uh, okay? Is everything audible? I moved my mic to do music earlier today, so everything sounds good. Hell yeah. All right, let's play Bubble Bath, babes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> uh, hilarious. Bubble Bath, babes. Fifteen on the clock. Oh, shit. This music's not very sexy. Oh, a naked lady. Oh, my. Okay. We got bubbles. Line up four bubbles. Oh, I'm doing poorly. <laughs> kind of looks like she's farting the bubbles. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Not good at bubble bath, babes. At least not yet. I will master it.
What is this G? Oh, God. All right. I, I quit. What is this song? I recognize this song. Yeah, yeah, it's very familiar. This game is kind of like Dr. Mario. It does remind me of that. This seems harder to me. Maybe I'm just not used to it yet. Confusing like which way it's gonna turn because there's two axes upon which it turns. gonna spell magic that's my prediction All the bubble formations being different shapes seem like it'd make it more challenging. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's challenging. It's not bad. Better than I thought it would be. 
I mean, I guess it's exactly what I thought it would be. Yeah, I seem to be improving as we go here. does look quite a bit like she's farting those bubbles. You are correct. hand is freaking you out. There's no way she can move it from her hip down to her knee without the arm becoming visible, but hers doesn't. So is it someone else's hand groping her leg? It's a very long arm. Is that... Is that a hand on her leg? Or is that her other foot? I think that's her other foot. Like, behind her. Because it's not coming around onto her leg. Oh, it moves during... Okay, I'll, I'll look at it. Let me watch. Oh, you're right. Weird. <laughs> it's got to be someone else's hand. I think it's just bad animation is the actual answer. I think it's just poorly done, but... <laughs> Are there more bubble bath babes? If I do I how do I beat the level? Do I have to get to a certain total? A certain amount of bubbles? Why is my score zero? Oh, it's zero this round? Okay. I see. Hey! Total 666. I don't understand how the scoring works. Is it like the score just pops up each time it scores? Yeah. 
Everybody's too busy watching the boobies and the bubbles to notice the weird hand action. Yeah, probably. It's brutal how it leaves those space holder kind of bubbles, you know? Yeah, I don't understand the scoring. Oh yeah, the blank white bubbles. Yeah, the placeholder. Whatever you want to call them. I don't know, this game is all right. It's, there's a naked lady, that's fine. <laughs> Like, if this was the only game I had, I'd play, I, I would play the shit out of it, you know? Like, it's kind of Christmassy, they look like uh, ornaments. Just terrible. You wish you could advance. I wish you could advance to the next level because you want to see if there's a blonde or brunette and more titties. Yeah, I don't even understand how you advance to the next level. Do you have to clear everything or I don't know. We're never going to know. Well, we might know if it comes up again. That's bubble bath, babes. Bubble bath. Bubka bubble. Um, I mean, I guess it's pretty decent. C plus. I think it's a C. I think it's pretty decent. It's not like decent. It's a. Uh, it's a C. It passes, but meh. My, I got a third monitor, but it's like behind me <laughs> right now. I'm like, I'm going to rearrange tomorrow and it'll be more over there, hopefully. Over there instead of back there. 
Spend more time with it? Nah. Difficult puzzle game. Boobs. Okay. Back to the wheel. Let me uh, take bubble bath babes off of there. Let me shuffle up, I guess. And let's spin that bitch. played this a little bit. It enchanted me. It, rem it rem reminded me, I can't talk, it reminded me of uh, The Running Man with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I used to like that movie when I was a child. It's, uh, it's like a shooter, multi-directional shooter game. I think part of the appeal was that this was like super violent, which games for Nintendo tended not to be. How do I? understand the controls. Oh, was that not a power up? So I think one of the buttons shoots the way you're going, one of them shoots the opposite, and then one stays wherever you start. If that makes sense. Brand new toaster. I 
I don't understand the angle. It's like the view's from above, but it moves side scroll. Oops, what happened? Yeah, it's from above. It's like Zelda, like slightly tilted. The perspective is a little bit wonky, though. I wish the mines would affect the enemies. I like how it shows the cameraman and whatnot when you go under the the boardwalk or whatever. <sighs> okay, the mines look just like the platinum bars or whatever. I mean, not just like them. Square, but Ooh. Mr. Shrapnel. Yeah, oh man. It ain't easy. I wish the uh, power-up weapons would last longer, you know? <laughs> the toaster doesn't. It, I think it's just points. Like, it's a game show, so that's like the prizes. I don't think the toaster helps me.
No way. What's with the presents? Yeah, brand new toaster. Toaster doesn't help me, I don't think. I think it's just points. Like, it, I think like if you're playing with two people, then you're like competing for points, I think is more the idea. I think this was an arcade thing before it was ported to the consoles. It's like uh, American Gladiators, you know, only ultra-violent. Yeah, it's pretty arcadey. I don't like that the power ups wear off. I find it upsetting. fan of the blades. Is it only going to show me the map the one time, or, or what? Keys? Bingo! Reminds me of like 28 days later. Fast zombies. Meet Mr. Shrapnel. Thank <laughs> you. 
These kind of games, it's similar to the flying games, uh, where it, it kind of like exercises a weird part of my brain. It makes my brain tingle, like having to move in these weird patterns, like, or not, maybe not patterns, but having to move in ways, creative ways to avoid getting hit. Um, I don't think they're zombies. I don't know what exactly the story is. I don't know why they're trying to kill me and sacrificing their lives. I don't know if they're real people or robots or... They look like people. It ain't easy. This much is true. Henchmen. Yeah, I don't know who they're henching for, though. Looks like the thing from uh, Ninja Turtles. The robot that the brain guy lived in, you know? Krang.
don't really understand. Like, I made it all the way red, and then it stops going down. I don't... Oh, is, that's not his health. That's my uh, ammo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does the regular gun even hurt him? Oh, cool. <laughs> I thought I beat him for a sec, but none such luck. Oh, fuck. Whew. Shoot him in his big dick face. Oh, I got the high score, number 10. It's a new kind of anxiety to, for me putting my initials in because it's always like a different control scheme and I can't figure out the, the thing. Some gripes, maybe a B minus, because power ups don't last long enough. I think it's better than all that. I thought it was pretty good. I think it's a B minus. I think it's better than a C range. Maybe I'm just feeling extra generous because it's the tis the season. <laughs> I'm expecting all the games to have a high score. I like that game. It's hard, but I enjoy it. Um, there's a few things I would change, but they're not deal breakers. It's still fun. And I would like to spend more time with it. I almost beat that first level. It gave me the bug. I'd like to get further. I gotta get the monitor over here more. <laughs> I'm like... stream. I'm, uh, I'm tired tonight. I was already just not in a mood. I mean, it's just like two months of just constant war crime footage. I'm like, oh, fuck, man. for a clip right now. It's a real short clip. Let's see if I can find it.
bad. That's all. Just boys, things are bad. I, I think of this scene a lot. <laughs> Just that one line from Cab Calloway. Boys, things are bad. Anyway. We're here to try to bring a little levity to our lives. A little bit of uh, video game playing from childhood before we knew everything was terrible and always going to get worse till we die. Cheers. <coughs> Back to the motherfucking wheel. Soul Blazer? Boom. Okay, now this one, I think I played. So, I think this is the game, all right? So, shortly after I first got a Super Nintendo when I was however old I was when they came out, six or seven or whatever, and uh, I remember my cousins that live in St. Louis were in town. And we rented a game, and we were all playing it together, and it was awesome. It was like a Zelda-type action RPG, right? And ever since then, I've tried to go back and figure out what game it is, and I can't... Nothing quite seems like it's that game. And I think this might be it, but I've never given it that much time. Uh, so we're going to find out, maybe, if this was the game that I've been looking for all these years. Um, and it may just be that my memory has failed and I don't remember it correctly. So this is another kind of weird wild card on the list that has a story behind it. It's not necessarily one of my favorite games, but like maybe there's something to it. Hey, stop. My dog keeps scratching at one spot on the couch. I don't know if I like farted there. <laughs> it's like where I sit. Maybe I spilled food there. She keeps like pawing at it though, like violently. Like she's gonna mess up the fabric. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know if uh, I don't think it's cuz I farted there. I think I don't I don't know though. My theory is I spilled food. So we might kind of have to play it by ear on this one. Oh, look, I've played this before. How about that? All right, I'm going to erase it though. We're gonna start over. A voice came from above. My follower, since you will be able to speak with all living things, you should have a name. Please choose a name for yourself. Um, cause this isn't, it's like an RPG kind of thing. So I don't know that we'll like die necessarily right away. Maybe we will, but might have to play fast and loose with the 15 minute rule here. Loki, what an interesting name. All right. All, 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 all right. Go and save the world for all creatures. Oh, okay. Let me just go save the world for all creatures real quick. Okay. I don't... I kind of remember this. Loki received Sword of Life. Oh, that's not that guy anymore. <laughs> it's just... This is just the narrator now. It's not God or whoever I was talking to. How do I equip? I like this. Hell yeah. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, I'm honestly never gonna know if this was the game. I used to live up in the sky, just like you. Now I am living on Earth, away from the Master. All the creatures that have been captured by Death Toll are sealed away in monster lairs. Just as you have set me free, you must free everyone. Even the release of a small tree or creature, they will aid you in your quest. Here, take this. Loki received the Flame Ball Magic. It's a good band name, Flame Ball Magic. Yeah, it's kind of Zelda-ish. Now I will join you. I am a magician, so I can use all types of magic. I will use my skill to help you. Remember this, I need gems in order to use magic. When you set me free, the monsters left some small spheres of gold. This is what a gem looks like. All right, let's work together to revive the world. Only one L in all right this time. We must go to the Grass Valley Shrine. Let's fucking do it, damn it. Oh, is that him? He's like my Tinkerbell. I have no idea if this was the game. I'm never gonna know. But this is the closest I've ever been able to find that it, it might be it. Doesn't seem like it though. I feel like that one started in a castle or some shit. Loki heard a small voice. There are many creatures being held in the underground castle. Oh, is this the small voice? Am I supposed to do the voices? I've started this precedent. <laughs> if you can release those creatures, the village will be reconstructed. Okay, that was the flower talking to me. Definitely isn't as uh, fluid a, a control experience as uh, Zelda. It's a little bit sticky with the controls. I don't even know if I'm supposed to hit the thing they're coming out of or what the deal is. A voice came from above. Do not rush, but be patient. You must continue making steady progress. So what I did before was already done. It saves whatever happened when you die. Loki released an old woman. What the fuck? You hear a sigh coming from inside the house. What is happening? Dig that base though, right?
Loki received medical herb. Right on, right on, right on. Cheers. That used to be a descriptor back in the day. Yeah, what was that with the sigh inside the house? It's like multi-dimensional, I think. I think I'm like slipping between dimensions or some shit. At least that's my interpretation of the scripture thus far. How do I... What's... Yeah. Flame ball. I don't know how to do it, though. A voice came from above. Do not rush, but be patient. You must continue making steady progress. Where's that house? Here's the house. My husband used to be the village chief. One day he suddenly disappeared along with the other villagers. I feel so lonely. How about being one of my children? <laughs> uh, no, lady. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, fucking weirdo. Am I supposed to say yes? Okay, I'll try saying yes. I don't like it, though. What's up here? Ooh, a ghost. This is the room of the village chief. He used to sit and rock here for hours. I wonder where and when he was going to come back. <laughs> You thought she was going to ask me to bang her, not be her child? Yeah, that's kind of what I thought, too. Well, actually, I thought she was just going to ask me to find her husband. I didn't think she was going to ask me to be her child. feel so lonely. How about being one of my children? Sure. Really? I will call you Loki from now on. That's such a crazy coincidence. Wow. Use the second floor as your own room. Sweet. I'm the chief now. Just, I can't do anything up here, though. I'm the captain now. I got my own room. We're only 11 minutes into this game and I got my own freaking room. Oh. Okay. Figured out how to use the magic. It's the Y button, if you were wondering. <clears throat> Loki heard a faint, faint voice coming from the jewel in the corner. All right, come over here.
I will give you some advice. Don't forget to equip the things you wish to use or they will not work. Loki received experience. Uh, let's stay. I want to see what's over that bridge. All right, she'll she'll let me go back to Grass Valley. I don't think this is the game we rented. I cannot figure out what it was. Like, I even found a subreddit where you can, like, ask for a game you're looking for and describe it. And I still, like, a bunch of people suggested what it might be, and I still can't figure it out. I like this game, though. It'll be one of the... Actually, we've had two of the few that I've never played that will be on this list. Loki released Tool Shop Owner. No size coming from the tool shop. The magic is interesting because I have to line up where the orb is. It doesn't come from where I am when I shoot the fireball. Oops. Oops, fuck. Wasting my gems. All right, I'm gonna go back since I'm close to dying. Hello, may I help you? You are the one who released me. Whenever you use your medical herb, please come back, and I will give you another. Hell yeah, I got a dealer in this town. How do I use my medical herb? Can I sleep in my bed? No. No, it's not. It's my room now. I'm the chief now. Yeah, my bud tender here in the tool shop. This is a pretty cool game. Soul Blazer. So I can't teleport back to where I was in here. I have to start from the beginning. Is that the case? All right, well, I'm gonna move on, but I like this game. We're gonna save our spot, which apparently I, I didn't know this. How do I get my health back up? I don't know. I got to use... Didn't I get medical herb earlier? Maybe I already used it, but she didn't give me another one. Hold on. Let's talk to her again before I quit. <laughs> so I must still have it. Maybe I can't use it here. Oh, there item
Hmm, okay. But I can't use it just like I can't use my sword out here. I didn't realize that the program uh, works with uh, the saves in games that save. Because it had my save there. I thought you had to save the state. Uh, yeah, I think the single blue tick next to player is my health. That's why I came back, because I was almost dead. But I, I don't think... Uh, I don't think I can do it here. I think I have to be in the battle world to use the herb that I got. Terrazilla, hello. Good to see you. Welcome. I'm playing Soul Blazer, but I'm about to stop playing Soul Blazer. So I'm no longer playing Soul Blazer. Is it two words? Soul Blazer? I think so. Um, definitely need to spend more time with it, but I think it's at least a B so far. I don't know that it's rather good yet, because we haven't played much of it. this the game I rented with my cousins when I was seven? We may never know, but I don't think it is. Yeah, time to do a spin. The time has come. Cheers if you're smoking along at home or even if you're ugly. Even if you've never seen the mask. Oh shit, NBA Jam. This was all the rage back in the day. <coughs> Tournament edition. I don't know what the uh, goddamn difference is, but sure seems fancy. Hell yeah. Let's go. Monster Jam. Monster Jam. So I listened to a podcast about this game. Uh, the announcer in it is just some actor that they hired to do the voice. Some guy that they didn't have to pay much. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Welcome to NBA Jam. NBA Jam. I think he's trying to do like a Marv Albert. Phoenix Suns. They were my favorite team back when I cared about this kind of thing. I, I enjoy the sports. I don't really care about the NBA like at all anymore. I remember last year I found out the Suns were good like when the playoffs were happening. I was like, what? They're good? All right. I don't know how to play. <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Hey, it went in. How about that? Yeah, I blocked it. Oh. Yes. From the outside. I feel I'm not very good at defense. Weird, so I only control the one guy. I don't control both players on my team. How bizarre. Is that how it always was? I don't remember. <laughs> Damn, Kobe. If this was before the days of Kobe, I don't think he's in this game. Terrible shot. Terrible shot. At the buzzer. Terrible shot. Down by a point. Press and hold the shoot button, then press the pass button. All right. There's no, like, music. It's like eating a sandwich with no mayonnaise, you know? How embarrassing. Stole it right out of my hands. Oh, I forgot there's turbo. I'm about to fuck shit up. Oh, wait. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, now I'm about to fuck shit up. See? I fucked shit up. Yes! The rebound! Oh, nothing but net. Hello. hello. Is he saying hello? And it sounds like he's saying jumbo. Jumbo! Maybe he's saying Jumbo, which is hello in Swahili, I think. Yeah. Yes.
Hell yeah. Winning by four points at halftime. The game is going to be like the exact length of 15 minutes, too. Perfect. It's weird that I only play as one player on the team. That's not how I remember it. <laughs> what the fuck? Damn, throwing bows. What am I supposed to do against that? This guy plays dirty. From the outside. I really enjoy the sound when they get the ball, that squink. It's an excellent noise. Nobody's gotten on fire yet. Hello. Yeah, he's definitely saying hello. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, down by two points, one quarter to go. Yeah, when a player scores three consecutive buckets, he is on fire. I remember this. That was all the rage. We'd walk around the playground saying, he's on fire. Maybe someone will get on fire here in the fourth quarter. I don't remember uh, Manning's first name. I know it's Kevin Johnson is the smaller guy that isn't me. Oops. Ugly shot. Boing. Wild shot. Heating up. Heating up. I'm down by seven all of a sudden. Fuck. Yeah. Yes. Gotta keep shooting three pointers. Wild shot.
Oh shit. Fuck. I'm gonna lose, man. Yes. Yeah. Ah, fuck. I'm sunk. I lost. Boo. Boo. Yeah, it is a bummer. A real bummer. I'm not pleased. You to Dallas. Ugh. He's gone cold by now, I'm sure. Yeah. NBA Jam Tournament Edition. Um, somewhere in the A's. I think uh, it doesn't quite bring me joy. Maybe it would have brought me joy had I won. But we're going to say A- minus for NBA Jam. It's probably more fun if you play it with someone, but, you know, I was an only child. I played it alone a lot. <laughs> so... do not need to spend more time. It's basketball. We understand how basketball works. He's on fire! There's been a lot of noises outside today. I find it annoying. The whole world needs to shut the fuck up, okay? Lots of loud cars. Is it always like this? Is it the cold air? Does it make the sound travel farther? It does.
<laughs> yes, very clear and concise. Very well done. I got the lamp. Now I can light torches and see my way in darkness. Rupees to the man who finds the descendants of the wise men, the king. A hundred rupees? That doesn't seem like that much. I didn't want you involved in this. I told you not to leave the house. Take my sword and shield and listen. You can focus power in the blade. Hold the B button. Then release it using a secret technique handed down by our people. Loki, you can do it. Save the princess. Zelda is your... My what? tripping I guess I am I guess that is the way I was supposed to go I'm already lost we just started Here's the thing though, I never beat this game because the copy that I had was fucked up. Like you had to play it all in one sitting, the, the save didn't work, and so I never beat it. I tried to leave it on for a long time, but eventually I had to turn it off. I remembered where to go to get into the castle, but from there, I'm clueless. Is there a map? <laughs> I need a map. Hey, look at that. I got the map. I can use it to see my position. And the rest of the dungeon. Forgot you could knock him off the edge. That's good times.
Oh yeah, I have a map. This way. This way. Full disclosure, I almost took a nap instead of streaming. <laughs> I almost said, fuck it, I don't feel like it. But, I mean, it's Monday. So, I got the boomerang. Bitchin'. This is the peak of Zelda in my mind. When it gets all 3D, it's still cool, but I'm doing well for a tired person. Why, thank you. I didn't do my neck exercises today, so I kind of have a headache and my neck is a little angry at me. I just have to do these every day till I die. It's like the bare minimum to be in the least amount of pain. to this guy. Come on. Nexercises. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Loki. I had a feeling you were getting close. Loki, listen carefully. The wizard is magically controlling all the soldiers in the castle. I fear the worst for my father. The wizard is an inhuman fiend with strong magical powers. Do you understand? I mean, yeah. All right, let's get out of here before the wizard notices. I know a secret path, but first we have to go to the first floor. Let's go. I do kind of like with this monitor on the side of me, the side lighting is kind of uh, interesting. Because I got, that's where Excel is, so it's white. brighter than usual in a good way like smarter <laughs> I'm going to move it so that this monitor is a little more in front over here instead of here I am about to die. Thank you. 
shouldn't have used up all those hearts earlier. I thought they'd come back, you know? I didn't know. Just well lit. Okay. I'm not trying to have like a ring light up in my face. I don't feel like I need to be lit that well. I kind of like a dim lighting situation, but this, this is not too bad. I think I like it. Is this where I'm supposed to go? I don't remember what she told me to do. <laughs> keep hitting that that keeps popping up because I keep thinking that's the map button what am I supposed to do I don't <laughs> I do not recall Supposed to go down here? ornamental shelf should open. Do you have a light? It's pitch dark inside, and you can't see without one. If you're ready, let's go. Help me push it from the left. Snakes.
Why would they keep the key in a chest right next to the door? Doesn't make any goddamn sense. Passing through these sewers, we will be very close to Sanctuary. Let's be careful. Man, these rats have lots of money. They must fall out of people's pockets when they step over the sewer grates or whatever, right? So. There's more uh, stereo stuff happening. Like you can hear which direction the mice are, are chirping from. I never realized this before when I was playing it on an old TV. You know? What am I doing? Where do I go? There's a door over here. Okay. thought I was going to have to light those, but the key was just sitting there. Did that enemy shit it out? Is that what happened? Might as well do some exterminating while I'm down here. Do my duty to the kingdom and whatnot. Sanctuary is just beyond that door. Pull the switch over there. Well, which fucking switch? I don't remember which one drops a bunch of rats. I'll go with this. Nope. Drops a bunch of rats. Snakes. Excuse me. Yeah, no shit. Thanks. I just pulled a lever. I also like snakes and rats. <laughs> I don't like it when they try to kill me, though. These particular snakes and rats are not uh, friendly. Princess Zelda, you are safe. Is this your doing, Loki? Yeah, bruh. Yes, it was Loki who helped me escape from the dungeon. When I was captive, the wizard said, once I have finished with you, the final one, the seal of the wise men will open. Loki, you must not let the land of Hyrule fall into the wizard's clutches. If he releases the seal of the seven wise men, evil power will overwhelm this land. Before that happens, before it's too late, destroy the wizard before he destroys all of Hyrule. You can do it. You can. I sense that a mighty evil force guides the wizard's actions and augments his magical power. The only weapon potent enough to defeat the wizard is the legendary master sword. It is said that the village elder is a descendant of one of the seven wise men. Maybe he can tell you more. I will mark his house on your map, but watch your every move. I am certain that the castle soldiers are looking for you now. I will hide Princess Zelda here. Do not worry. Seek the Elder. Do you understand? Yeah. Move. 
Yeah, heart container. I don't think it's right that they always put uh, the monsters in the games as snakes and rats, you know? And bats. It's always bats. This way, Kakariko Village. Just the joy of cutting the shrubs in this game. The sound and the little puff of leaves and sometimes there's money or a heart in there. It's just the best. Yeah, bats, rats, and snakes, all cool. I feel like their portrayal as evil creatures of the night in video games set them back years. I know they were already thought of that way, which is why they were put in video games as such, but still. Oh shit. Wanted. This is the criminal who kidnapped Zelda. Call a soldier if you see him. Shit. I didn't do it. Yo, Loki. This house used to be a hideout for gang thieves. What was the leader's name? Oh yeah, he was blind and he hated bright light a lot. You, sir, have you been going through life without one of my hold anything bottles? We'll step right up and make your life complete. I've got one on sale for the low, low price of 100 rupees. What do you say? Interesting. Don't need it. So you're broke, eh? Too bad. Come back after you earn some more rupees. It might still be here. All right. Gotta get away from these people. They're gonna call the cops on me. I just know it. The GTA 6 trailer dropped today. So that's something. Looks like pretty good times. It's in Florida, Vice City. Who? Oh, it's you, Loki. What can I do for you, young man? The Elder? Oh, no one has seen him since the wizard began collecting victims. What? Master Sword? Well, I don't remember the details exactly, but long ago, a prosperous people known as the Hylia inhabited this land. Legends tell of many treasures that the Hylia hid throughout the land. The Master Sword, a mighty blade forged against those with evil hearts, is one of them. People say that now it is sleeping in the deep, deep in the forest. I understand the legend. Anyway, look for the elder. There must be someone in the village who knows where he is. You take care now, Loki. Yeah, it's pretty fun, but it's kind of like a mass shooting uh, <laughs> simulator. Like, seems... It's chaos. Like, you'll notice there are no children in the GTA games. You can't kill children, but you can kill anyone else. But yeah, it's pretty fun. So what did she just tell me deep in the forest? <laughs> you can kill hookers, yes. That you can. You got some bombs. You can pick up and throw a bomb you placed. Press A button.
You can pay hookers to have sex with you, and then you can kill the hookers, and then you can take the money that you just paid them back. Plus, they usually have more. So that's fun. Just like real life, yep. The misty overlay. Wonderful. Oh, fuck you, man. This mushroom smells like sweet rotten fruit can give this to anyone who wants it. <laughs> Ooh. Sounds exciting. Someone's going to love it. I think I'm supposed to get to the clearing in the upper left. This is it, the Master Sword. No, this can't be it. Too bad. <laughs> I've heard of snakes in the grass, but soldiers in the bush? You the guy that was stealing from me, or do you just look like him? For 100 rupees, I'll let you open one chest and keep the treasure that is inside. Um, sure. All right, open the chest you like. Mm, middle chest. Yeah! See ya, sucker. Loki, a mysterious fog has recently fallen over the forest. We have to be careful. Maybe it's nothing, but this tree feels kind of strange as we cut it. Hmm. Well, that's concerning. Oh. Mines in the bushes? The House of Lumberjacks, A Bumpkin and B Bumpkin. Gambling, it always pays off. Oh, shit. Another mushroom. This must be the place.
Can I not do it? Do I need something? I thought I could just get it. What gives, man? Was I not paying attention to what the old lady told me? doesn't budge when I pull on it. Hmm. I don't remember. I thought I just went to get the sword at this point. Fuck you. Taking my bombs. was probably paying more attention than you were. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. Not enough attention, or I'm too high, or something. God. Keep hitting select, thinking it's going to be the map. It's not. I like her dance. What can I do for you, young man, the Elder? Oh, no one has seen him since the wizard began collecting victims. Master Sword, well, I don't remember the details exactly, but long ago a prosperous people known as the Hylia inhabited this land. Legends tell of many treasures that the Hylia hid throughout the land. The Master Sword, a mighty blade forged against those with evil hearts, is one of them. People say that now it is sleeping deep in the forest. Anyway, look for the Elder. There must be someone in the village who knows where he is. Oh, okay. I wasn't supposed to go there yet. Hey, here is Loki, the wanted man. Soldiers, anyone, come quickly. Fuck you, lady. Calling the cops on me. Oh, Loki, the rumors say you kidnapped the princess, but I still trust you. Thanks. <laughs> that guy doesn't. I need with arrows. What am I going to do with an arrow?
May I help you? Select the thing you like. Prices is marked. Oh, I don't have an empty bottle. About ten bombs. Mumble, mumble, my son really liked to play the flute, but he went out to look for the golden power and has not returned. I wonder where he is and what he's doing now. Is <laughs> Whoa, I saw her, a very nice young lady at the waterfall of wishing in the hills where the river begins. Loki, you should meet her at least once. I'm sure you'll like her. Alright, dude, I think you might have been high, though. I'm just saying. I don't think I can do that yet. I think I gotta find this elder first. I was too busy laughing at the guy's stoner voice that I was doing to notice what he said anyway. What did he say in the woods? Where's this waterfall? I'm, I, ain't, I ain't seen no waterfall in the woods. I didn't talk to that kid yet. Sup, kid? Hey, Loki. Elder. Are you talking about the grandpa? Okay, but don't tell any of the bad people about this. He's hiding in the palace past the castle. I will mark the spot on your map. Here you are. Hell yeah. <laughs> Gotta go all the way over here? Before I can even get the Master Sword? Really? Huh. Alright, well we're gonna leave that quest for next time. Okay, Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Obviously it's S tier. God, I cannot fucking type. Definitely want to spend more time. I want to actually beat this. I don't think I've ever fully beaten it, which is a crime. I don't think it's like super hard. Maybe it is. So fucking good. Probably the best Zelda game ever. Zelda. <sighs> Hell yeah. All right, maybe a couple more. I feel like it's gonna be a shorter night because I'm tired. My neck hurts. Oops. Our pets' heads are falling off. Zelda's off. Shuffle up, I guess. Spinny spin spin. You only have one more left in you. 
Yeah, I might only have one more too. We'll see how it is. We'll see what it is. Ooh, Rampage. I'll play some more Rampage. We played this yesterday. It's like he's playing uh, air bass, air guitar. Oh, sorry, I didn't see. I like. I always be Ralph. I'm always Ralph. I don't know. Ralph was always my. I always pick a character and like just stick with it. Not that I have to do that on the stream. I'm just saying it's my habit. If I die, I'll be one of the other ones. I'm faithful to Ralph. You got to respect that. Yeah. in the air.
I feel like I'm a little better at it this time than I was yesterday. There's a cactus over in that house or whatever building. Los Angeles. Good evening. This is Los Angeles. I still don't fully understand how to play this as far as like I understand what's going on like what things do but like what's the best way to avoid getting hit and to destroy the level quickly the strategery escapes me Oh, that was rather sudden. Man, they're really fucking me up.
can't get a word in edgewise with this level. It's hard to move fast enough to dodge anything. It seems like it's more about efficiency. See, I went around. What's up with that? Kalima. Kalima. Didn't they make like a 3D Rampage game for uh, Nintendo 64? I still don't understand what's up with the guy with the hot dog either. I need to be another character also so I can see if there's a different person. Like, is that me as a person? Is that what it's supposed to be? That's what I would think. I don't know what else it is. So it seems by getting hit in the face with mortar, I can <laughs> go around the map, but otherwise it's not an option. Vegas. Come back here. Ah, damn it. Thank you. 
Son of a bitch. Don't you see I've already destroyed Las Vegas? You can't shoot me again once I've already destroyed Las Vegas. Oh yeah, I'm tired. This is gonna be the last game. It's gonna be a little bit shorter. A little shorter than normal. It's a low energy day. Still coming up on three hours, pretty normal time. Yeah, that's true. It's on the short end, I guess. I do like three to five on the on the long end, I feel like. A lot of these streamers be going like eight hours and playing hard games very well the whole time. I don't, I can't comprehend it.
He's supposed to look like he's playing the air bass, right? Like. Wish it would give me like a little extra health or something for beating the level, you know? That'd be nice. <laughs> the tank fell in the water because I destroyed the bridge. That's it. I think I made it further than last time. I didn't load the state from before, and I don't think this one saves by itself. Yeah, that's it. That's all. Rampage. We gave it an A. Is it as good as the arcade cab at Roller King in my memories? Who's to say? All right, that's it. We're knocking off early. Um, thanks for tuning in. Thank you for being here, as always. Uh, much love. We will see you soon, Thursday. Uh, next week, a week from today, Atlantic football starts. show you what it looks like looks like uh, looks like that Atlantic football coming next week Del Chaparral's Elderwood Archers Green Rock Warriors Leah Compos Pumas North South Athletics Plain City Travelers Platt Cragsman Salvation Brothers Tawa Jackals and the Tiny Sea Titans. 1932 to 33 inaugural season starts next week right here on this channel. Hell yeah. All right. We will see you uh, Thursday night. We're going to do some more of this uh, retro Yuletide season goodness. And so we will see you then. Is there anything left in here? Nope. Oh, well. Peace out. <laughs> We'll see you uh, back here on Thursday. Much love. Goodbye. Peace. What we call reality is in fact nothing more than a culturally sanctioned and linguistically reinforced hallucination of some sort.